Hello and welcome to the video Run Spring Boot Project in Apache NetBeans IE. I am Nam Haming from Code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to open, configure, build, and run a Spring Boot application in NetBeans IDE for absolute beginners. I suppose that you have an existing Spring Boot project and you have a Java Development Kit, OpenJDK, or Oracle JDK, Apache NetBeans IDE and MySQL database server and MySQL workbench installed on your computer. Basically, here are the steps for running a Spring Boot project in Apache NetBeans IDE. Firstly, you need to open or import an existing Spring Boot project and then check the Spring Boot configuration file. It is usually the application.properties file for database connection properties and server config such as context, path, and port number. And if the project requires a database you may need to create an empty database and file main class that is annotated with the Supreme Boot application annotation and run the project as a Java application. This is Apache NetBeans ID on my computer. Uh, as you can see, I'm using Apache NetBeans version 12.4 running with uh, OpenJDK version 15, Java 15 here. Okay, and let me open an existing uh, Spring Boot project code Java app here. You see, uh, this is a Java Spring Boot project uh, that is using Maven Build. So you can see uh, in the project files, the POM XML file here. This is a Maven project file. You see, its parent is uh, Spring Boot starter parent. And the dependency information here. Uh, Spring Boot Starter Data JPA. That means uh, this application will connect to a database using uh, uh, Spring Data JPA and Hybrid Framework. Uh, Spring Boot Starter Web. That means uh, this is a Java web application based on Spring Framework. And you can see MySQL Connect Java. So that means this application will connect to a MySQL database. Okay, that's the Maven project file. And this is the source package, the Java source files here you see. And as a source, you can see LRC main resource templates. And you can see the application.proteus file here. This is a Supreme Boot uh, application configuration file. And you see, here you see the settings, the configuration for server port number, context path, data source URL, username, password, uh, Hibernate DDL auto, and Hibernate so SQL statement here. So uh, that means uh, this uh, Spring Boot application will be running uh, in an embedded Tomcat server listening on port 8080 with the context path is slash code java and it will connect to a local host instance of mysql database at this uh, url with the database schema is user db username root and password password so you may need to update the data source url username and password according to your mysql credentials and the property uh, hibernate DDO auto equal update means that uh, upon startup uh, the application the hibernate framework will create the tables automatically okay now let me create a new database schema with the name users db in mysql workbench so switch to mysql workbench here and create a new database schema here the name should be users db and click apply apply okay finished so i have a new empty database schema here set as default schema okay and now i need to find a main class so here in the source uh, package here you can see my web app application is the main class and that is annotated uh, with the uh, Supreme Boot application annotation here. So this is the main class that will start the uh, Supreme Boot application and you can see the main method uh, Supreme application dot run here. And you can see the main controller class uh, and the user entity class 
that maps uh, to a table in the database and this is a user controller class and this is a HTML files index home page user user listing user form okay you see now uh, to run this uh, Supreme Boot project you can click the play button on the toolbar here run project or you can right click on the main class here right click and run file okay you see it is starting a spring boot application you can see the spring logo here okay and you can see it prints some uh, logging information here and look at the last lines last two lines you can see tomcat started on port 8080 here quit context part slash code java that means uh, the application has started successfully and it is up and running already to receive a request okay now let me open the web browser i used chrome browser and now type http localhost port number 8080 and the context part is code java and you see the home base of the application appears welcome to my application many users here and if you switch uh, to MySQL Workbench here, refresh, refresh the user's DB, refresh all, oh, and you can see it uh, created the table users here. You see, and right click, uh, select rows, and you see the table is now empty. Okay, so far so good, and now let me test this application manage users and add new user email Ravi Kumar first name Ravi Kumar password enable true save you see a new user has been created successfully Ravi Kumar here and I can check the user table here you see a new, new row got inserted here and that means uh, the application is uh, running working perfectly okay come back to Apache NetBeans and to stop the application you can click the red uh, button here to stop this uh, Supreme Boot application and you can see it is uh, stopped here and you can see some SQL statements here okay let me change the application properties here update the port number to just 80 and uh, change the context part here to just uh, a slash or empty okay and to run the application again you can click the play button on the toolbar run project or menu run or run project You see, we got an uh, error here. View failure. <laughs> the error is class not file exception net dot code java code java application because the main class is different. It is my web application. So click run project here. Uh, don't worry if you see this error you can right click on the project here and you can edit the run uh, configuration here and here you need to change the main class okay so it detects the main class here okay and now you can click run run project okay you see now it is starting okay done and you can see now this uh, supreme boot application started on port number 80 context part empty here and now let me test in chrome browser so this time i type just http and localhost and you see manage, manage users add another user Johnny. Johnny. 
does and click save you see successfully and in the database I can see two rows inserted here you see okay so that's how to run a Spring Boot project in Apache NetBeans to stop the application click the stop button here and to build the project uh, to uh, an executable ZAR file you can click the menu uh, right click on the project and click build here and it will build the project using uh, maven build you see maven build is running and you see, you see this error because uh, it uh, runs the test uh, when building the project so uh, to avoid this error i can delete the test class under the test packages here yeah, this is a test class uh, so i can uh, delete okay now uh, build the project again you can also click the build button on the toolbar here to uh, build the project Okay, you see, build success and it's uh, uh, building the Java file here. This is the executable Java file of the project called Java app version dot jar here. So far, you have learned how to open, configure, run, and build a Spring Boot project in Apache NetBeans IDE. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.